When developing an automated trading strategy, there are three key components that you need to consider. The first is trend. The second is the strength of the price within that trend. And the third is the range of movement that you want to trade. So in this example, I am going to develop a trading strategy around using the moving average to give me trend. I'm going to take a look at stochastic and maybe RSI to give me strength, to tell me when the price is overbought or oversold within a given trend. And I will use Bollinger Bands to give me my range that I want to trade. Over the weekend, I have been testing a strategy that has been running on the Euro USD, which is based on, it's on a 100 period moving average and RSI, with my range of movement that I want to trade being manually set. If you take a look at these trades. So in this trade setup, I have moving average, which gives me my trend component. So if the moving average is going up and RSI is below 40, showing us, which is my strength component. So a point of weakness, that's when I buy. And based on that price, I then add 31 pips for my limit and 30 pips for my stop. If I have no position, execute, I keep repeating. We take a look at this cell to open position. So as before, if the moving average is decreasing and the RSI is showing strength, I sell to open that position. And I'm going for 31 pips limit and 30 pips stop. So before we start working on a, a new version of this strategy, which is going to use Bollinger Bands to take profit or cut losses, so the Bollinger Bands will set my range that I want to trade. But first of all, we will backtest this strategy to see if we can get a Bollinger Band strategy that will dynamically achieve similar levels of results. So looking if we had run this strategy over the last week with trading cost of 250, 100k, and shall we say, let's test it with some volatility, some spread. Okay, so it's a pretty decent strategy. It would have generated in the region of three, three thousand three hundred and fifty two dollars profit. So first of all, I'm going to create my opening trades, which is the moving average is going up. And in this example, I will test with stochastic. So for example, if stochastic is below 20, oversold. So if the moving average, which is giving me my trend, is going up, stochastic is oversold, below 20. I'd like both events to happen within one candle, so five minutes, because I'm using a five minute chart in this example. So if it's going up, I want to buy to open. I will use Bollinger Bands to set my limit and stops. If no position, let's keep the trade and after it happens, go to sleep for one minute and reactivate. So I'll just pause this until I'm ready to, until I'm happy with it. Now for my cell to open, if the moving average is going down. Now I'm looking for the stochastic above 80 to be overbought. So if the moving average is going down and the price is showing strength, again I would like these to happen within two candles. And this time I will sell to open a position. I will, I will use Bollinger Bands to set my stops and my limits, so if no position, I'm going to repeat. So now I have my two opening orders. The next set of rules I need to put in place are rules that will lock in my profits. For this, I'm going to use the Bollinger Band. So as I'm using a 100 period moving average, I'm going to use a 100 period 
Bollinger Band. And when I select two standard deviations, basically the Bollinger Band shows the range of volatility around the moving average, which in this case will be 100 periods. Two standard deviations is approximately 95% of the range of movement around the, the moving average. The upper and lower line capture 95% of the range of movement. So what I'm looking for, if I have sold to open a position, I am looking for the Bollinger Band. So if, for example, I have sold to open a position, which is here, I am looking to lock in profits when the price goes to the outer range of its price movement. So if it falls below the lower Bollinger Band, and if I buy to open when it is oversold, I'm looking for the price to rally. So if, for example, I was to buy to open when Zucassi was below 20, I'm looking to lock in profits when the price breaks through its upper Bollinger Band. So now I'm going to add these rules. So the first rule If I am long and the price breaks through the upper Bollinger Band, I want to sell to close. Sell to close my long position. So if long, sell to close the long position if the price breaks through the upper Bollinger Band. If the price falls below the lower Bollinger Band and I'm short, then I want to lock in profits there. So I will buy to close the short position and execute this if short. So now I have my rules which lock in profit on the trade. I now need to think about protecting against losses. And what I'm going to do, if for example I am in a short position and the price rises above the upper Bollinger Band, then I want to close out the short position because the price is going against me. If I'm in a long position and the price falls below the lower Bollinger Band, then again I want to close out the position. So as before, if the price rises above the upper Bollinger Band, I would like to close out my short position. So buy to close if short. Okay, and repeat. If the price falls below the lower Bollinger Band. I want to sell to close the position if I'm long. And repeat. We have six rules. Two to get us into long or short positions or buy or sell positions. We have our rules that lock in profit if the trade goes in our favor. And we have rules that close out positions if the trend changes. Now to back test them. I will select my rules. And back test them over the maximum available date range. So this isn't bad. We have 2,500 profit before costs. There's a good risk reward ratio. High percentage of winning trades is very high. Let's just test it with commission and see how tolerant it is to some spread. Okay, looks like we can survive that as well.